Dr. Fobbs, I've been tonight, as you may know, Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, 28 years old, left his unit without permission in Afghanistan in 2009, was captured by the Taliban. Bergdahl was held for five years until President Obama traded five captured Taliban commanders for the sergeant. Upon coming home, Bergdahl was investigated by the Army. That investigation was concluded in October. Now, almost three months later, it is being stonewalled. Joining us now from Washington, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer, Senior Fellow at the London Center for Policy Research, who yeah. has been closely following the story, has some new information tonight. And what is that, Colonel? Uh, Bill, the Army has come to its conclusion, and Bo Bergdahl, Sergeant Bergdahl, will be charged with desertion. Uh, I'm, I've been told, I've been confirmed by two other sources, that uh, his attorney was given what we call a charge sheet. A charge sheet essentially is a sent, uh, the, the results of the investigation listing out the articles of the Uniform Code of Military Justice which have been violated. The key violation is desertion. And this is, is, has been done, the decision has been made, and, and let me be very clear, as a corporate entity, the Army has decided that they want to pursue Bergdahl for for this okay. violation. Let me just ask you a series of simple questions. Sure. Bergdahl's attorney a military guy? No, he's not. He's a civilian. He's a civilian guy. By charging Bergdahl with desertion, that means there has to be a trial, right? The next, and this essentially is what the equivalent of a grand jury uh, hearing is, which is what, what we call an Article 32. And yes, the, that is the, 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 the procedure okay. you must go through to go to the court so martial. So a military the trial. Step. All That's right, right. Bergdahl will have a military attorney, a civilian attorney, if he wants. He'll come in. That's correct. He'll either plead guilty or not guilty to the desertion charge. That's correct. Now, we hear that the White House has been stonewalling this information, that they, they came to this conclusion a long time ago. Uh, remember, yes. there was a prior uh, investigation before this latest one with the Army. That's and correct. who in the White House is the point person to tell the Army not to release what you just told us? There's a huge battle going on at multiple levels, but the individual that I've been told, which is spearheading this in the effort to suppress it, is Ben Rhodes. Uh, ben Rhodes has been essentially the liaison between the Pentagon and, and, and the Pentagon and, and the White House on a number of key issues, to include uh, a lot of the intelligence failures that you've seen. We've talked about right here regarding ISIS, regarding the Iraqi military. Ben has been the guy in the middle of all that, and I'm told again that he's the guy that's uh, really he's in, a national in, in security this. advisor, right? Uh, yes, sir. Is, is that his title upstairs? If you can just I'm not sure Assistant of his exact National, title. Assistant National Security Advisor Assistant to, National to the National Security President. Advisor. Okay. That's correct. So he's the liaison to uh, General Mark Miley, who is the guy overall in charge, but Miley's voice is Martin Dempsey. That's correct. Who said on January 12th, uh, there's Miley, uh, Dempsey said that he expects the decision to be released soon. Uh, that was two weeks ago, and right. still no decision released. And you're saying, I just want to be very clear, the White House wants it delayed, but what good does that do? Because sooner or later, they have to put it out. Bill, this is shaping up to be a titanic struggle behind the scenes. Believe me, the Army here wants to do the right thing. Factually, there's no way they can not sure. do the right thing regarding Bergdahl. And, and the White House, because of the, the political narrative, President Obama cozying up to the parents, and because of he, President Obama, releasing the five Taliban, by the way, those five Taliban were never briefed to senior leadership of the Pentagon before it happened. Uh, I'm just letting. There's a the narrative is what the, the White House does not want to you know, have. Of course, they come don't out. want it, but right. they're they're gonna <laughs> look. The White House can't tell the Army not to charge him with desertion. All right, if what you say is true, right. they're going to well, charge him with desertion. He, he has been. He right. has oh, been. He's been charged. All right? right, so they got it. So now, right. what good does it do for Ben Rose or anybody else to say, don't tell anybody? He's got to come out. They should just well, get it out and get it over with. Well, we're putting it out here, so hopefully this will start the process of getting the sunlight on the whole process. Bill, I'm told that this is, again, a, a huge battle behind the scenes. Oh, the White I, House I, must wants be. this to go away. I understand. From my uh, army sources, which are not nearly as good as you or yours, the army and the Pentagon are furious because they they see themselves looking bad, and it's not really their fault. No, everybody in the army has done what they needed to do right. according to their duty. That's correct. Yes, sir. All right, Colonel, we appreciate it very much. Thank you.